on guilt narratively is kind of unorthodox, and I was very interested into what kind of inspired that. So you're saying Don Harmon? Yeah, I know other things. Like I think, you know, like especially like when I, I went to film school as an undergrad in Argentina, um, it's very different from the U.S. and like um, the narrative. It's way more like European in this style, and that's kind of like what you learn to do. And I was curious how to mix that with like Hollywood style. Um, comedy uh, and kind of make it merge in a way that works together. I am a little curious about sort of what went on behind the scenes. I mean one of the funniest things that happened is I'm basically best friends with the Giro uh, lady who sold us lunch that day because um, it was like we had like a 5 a.m. call time or something crazy so she actually had to open up the shop early for me and stuff. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah I mean and she also, I, I actually had two shoots going on that weekend, so she was like in the shop by herself cooking for both for both sets. Wow. And she's like, you owe me for this one, and like, she'll, like, I mean, I'll go in there now and she'll hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you say there are any particular challenges to writing and shooting and directing a comedy uh, as opposed to any other genre? I like to think it's harder to make a comedy <laughs> than, to, I mean, I don't know, I think that that's why like comedies usually don't get big awards, it's because they're harder to make. Um, like when a drama is well done, it's just it, you can tell it's a drama. Uh, but when a comedy, it's just I don't know. I think with a There's comedy, a it, when you read the script, it's different than when you're than when you're directing and like you have actors there. It's not. It's it's just reading a lot different than when you first initially wrote it. So I actually have a question uh, regarding the opening shot. It's very fascinating. It's not exactly what you'd expect from a short. And it has to do with gaming. So I was wondering, what is your background, your connection to the gaming world? Um, just an active user. Um, I think I, the, the show opens with him uh, sort of finishing playing The Witcher 3, uh, which was it's one of the greatest games in the past few years. It won every major award, uh, which got me a little bit concerned because uh, we were gonna. I was wondering if they were gonna let us use that. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually emailed them. Um, and we were like, hey, we're just doing this short film, um, and this is, I just want to show the pause menu, there's not going to be, like, you know, just it's just a pause menu and someone speaking over it. Um, and, and they were, like, super kind, and they were like, yeah, sure, whatever, uh, just use it. And then they gave us, like, a huge chunk of paragraphs to put in the credits. They were like, just put this on the credits, <laughs> uh, and we're all, we're all good to go. Uh, so that was definitely, because I started to think, like, oh, am I going to have to make up the game? Uh, yeah, once he told me it was like this really popular game, I'm like, oh man, we're gonna have trouble getting the rights for this. Yeah, they were so cool I think it's either it. like 2015 or biggest selling game for consoles or something like that. That was Chicago Film News. If you'd like, you should follow us on Twitter and Facebook, Chicago Film News, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. Until next time, see you again.